Hi guys, and welcome back to the Safari Armax Tech Talk series. Today's episode is going to cover the features and benefits of a Safari Armax ECU versus a factory OE ECU remap. In this example, we're going to use a 2018 Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series equipped with a 4.5 litre V8 diesel engine. In this example, we've done a before graph or a before run on the dyno. This demonstrates the factory vehicle's power and torque output. And this is illustrated by the blue graph. So we can see the factory vehicle achieved 135 kilowatts of power and 380 newton meters of torque at all four wheels. So following our baseline dyno run, we've now added a Safari Armax snorkel and a Safari Armax ECU. The Safari Armax ECU is specifically programmed for the modifications fitted to the vehicle. In this comparison, we can now see the benefits that we've achieved, going from 135 kilowatts to 179 kilowatts at all four wheels. Torque has also been increased from 380 to 510 newton meters. So now we've seen that we've actually added 30% more power, 30% more torque. This maximizes the airflow for this given level of modification. Therefore, we could actually make some more power, but it's gonna put at risk things like DPF, the air fuel ratio will become extremely rich, and the power result will only be very small above what we see here. The Armax ECU takes full advantage of the performance modification that's been done to the car. And the file that's put into the ECU is specifically calibrated for that vehicle and your given level of modification. Okay, so now we've connected our Jayco Journey Caravan to the back of the 200 series. Rough GCM, we're gonna be around six and a half tons. So nothing too extreme, but a very common touring level for this uh, vehicle combo. We're now gonna explain a few features or a few items on the ECU that you need to understand so we can see the cold start engine protection work because the vehicle's cold. So we see on this example here, we have a, a level called an intercept level. The amount of intercept is the amount of additional power. So zero intercept is zero additional power from standard and 100% is 100% additional power above standard. So we should see if the vehicle's cold that the intercept level will stay at zero, therefore adding no additional power to the vehicle while the vehicle's cold. This is done as a protection system because a lot of engine wear occurs when the vehicle is cold and on startup. So the Armax ECU, one of its protection systems is there is no additional power done when the vehicle is cold. As the vehicle warms up, the intercept will slowly increase until we get to full operating temperature and then we'll have full additional power available and we should see full interception achieved. We're now gonna pull out onto the road and we're gonna accelerate the vehicle at full throttle. We can see our engine temperature here is at 40 degrees and our throttle position is at zero. We will see this go to 100% throttle position, which would indicate full factory original power. And we should see at this point in time, the intercept level stays at zero, indicating no additional power while the vehicle's cold. Okay, so we've got engine RPM at the top, our exhaust gas temperature here, our throttle position. You can now, now see at this point in time, we've achieved full throttle and we have zero intercept. So this means that obviously the vehicle you can see is increasing in uh, engine temperature and we still have zero interception. So that was a clear demonstration of how the vehicle is protected by the Armax ECU while it's cold. The driver doesn't have to worry about this is an automatic feature. So every time, no matter what application or whatever vehicle the customer has, the Armax ECU protects the engine under all circumstances. Okay, so in this example, we're gonna show you the Safari Armax ECU live exhaust gas temperature control. So we're just cruising along at the moment. We're gonna to get to a section where we're gonna simulate overtaking a car, a truck, a bus, caravan, etc. And the driver's gonna obviously demand full power. That full power is gonna be required to pass that vehicle. And because we've got live exhaust gas temperature control, the driver can keep his foot maintained at full throttle all the time. The ECU will modulate the power of the engine to always protect it. So we can see in this example now, the driver's gone full throttle. This is simulating pulling out and overtaking that vehicle. And we can see the intercept level here has achieved 100%. We can now see the intercept is starting to reduce. The ECU is automatically controlling the power and exhaust gas temperature of the engine to always protect itself. But the driver hasn't had to do anything manually, hasn't had to look at a gauge, hasn't had to manually lift out the throttle and lose momentum. The ECU has done this automatically. 
the ECU will also only remove the amount of power required and then it will also reinstate that power once it's safe to do so. So this is a unique feature to the Safari Armax ECU and is something Safari believe that is paramount on all of our applications. So with an Armax Snorkel and an Armax ECU, the engines make it 30% more power, 30% more torque. We showed you earlier about live exhaust gas temperature control, cold stun engine protection, etc. So these are engine protection features and functions of the Armax ECU. A drivetrain protection system is required. So torque reduction on gear change is implemented into the Safari Armax ECU. What this does is remove power and torque from the vehicle on the gear chain protecting the life of the components inside the gearbox. So we're just going to take off here and we're going to go full throttle and we're going to show you the torque reduction on gear change actually working. So we've just taken off, we've got our engine RPM trace up the top here and we can see a gear change here has occurred. If we look down at our injection trace we can see that the injection length has been removed. This is removing power, removing torque and protecting the components of the transmission whilst the gear change is occurring. Once again, the driver is full power, full throttle, the engine is making maximum power and torque, but it's doing it safely and reliably. The ECU is automatically reducing the power and torque on the gear change when required. Okay, so another feature of the Armax ECU is predictable tow mode. Many of our competitors out there offer a towing solution where you get less power and less torque. With the Safari Armax ECU, you get the same maximum power and torque at all times. But what we've done is we don't know what you're going to tow. You could be towing a jet ski, caravan, we're doing that today. So how do we differentiate the ECU between these different loads on the back? So we developed a system called Predictable Tow Mode, where the ECU learns the load that's put on the back of the car. It also learns the conditions and driving style of the driver. So when you're on relatively flat road or at slow speed, which is where we are now, the ECU is optimizing itself for, for these conditions. We're just about to get to a hill where we're gonna show you the predictable tow mode. What it does is it keeps the power in the engine for longer periods of time. So you get a higher average power than if you were towing in say, map one or map two. If you have a remap, you only have one map. So what is your vehicle programmed for? towing, power. With the Safari Armax ECU, you have the ability of five maps at the touch of a finger. So you've always got the right map for the right application all the time. So we're just starting to get into our hill now. We're gonna see very shortly where the driver's gonna command full power and full torque from the engine. And we're gonna see our intercept level rise and stay maintained. This is the predictable tow feature working, keeping the power into the engine at all times, but also the system is protecting the engine and drivetrain at the same time. So it's an awesome feature, and this automatically adjusts itself depending on the load and the conditions. So an example of this is when you maybe towing on bitumen then you get into sand your GCM hasn't changed but your load conditions are totally different so this is an example of how the predictable tow mode feature works okay so now we're under sustained full throttle climb so we're climbing a really steep hill and you can see here the driver's full throttle and the intercept level staying at 100 percent this predictable tow mode feature is adjusting for the weight of the caravan on the back but also the conditions in which we're driving in to keep the power in the engine. This gives you more power on average. The torque reduction on gear change and live EGT control always work and always function while in the predictable tow mode. So this predictable tow feature also has a focus on fuel economy because towing you want to have good fuel economy, you're normally going touring and traveling, doing a lot of kilometers, so fuel economy is really important as well. So the benefit of having multiple maps and being able to pick an application specific map is critical. What Your remap can't offer this. Additionally, the sensors fitted to the exhaust on this 200 series are there to perform regeneration purposes. They're not there to perform engine protection functions like exhaust gas temperature control. So the Safari Armax is the, is the unique solution. One, it's emissions and legal compliance, but two, it has predictable tow mode, comfort, sport for everyday driving, traction assist. These features have been specifically developed to cater for everybody's needs 
but also as you use the vehicle for different applications, you can easily change the mode of the ECU to take full advantage. So you can see in this, see we're still climbing this hill, and once again the power has been maintained into the vehicle. The protection systems always work; they're never turned off. So. It gives you great peace of mind. The driver doesn't have to think, he just has to drive the car and not have to worry that he has to monitor something, maintain something, he can just drive the car, enjoy the journey and not have to worry about the engine or drivetrain. It's an awesome feature and once again unique to the Safari Armax ECU. Okay, maybe a couple of features of the Safari Armax ECU you're not aware of. So we have what we call live telemetry. So what this means is when you plug a laptop in, you connect your ethernet cable from your laptop to the Armax ECU system. Uh, we use M1 Tune software, which is free for customer downloads. So there's no subscriptions or additional fees once you've purchased an Armax ECU. And you can actually monitor and check your own vehicle through a telemetry system. And you can see, see here on the screen, we're just driving along. We've got uh, obviously engine RPM displayed, throttle position, intercept level, and our injection trace in this example. So another really cool feature of the telemetry is we can actually pause it. So if we pause the telemetry screen now, we can actually rewind what we've actually driven. So we don't need to be looking at the laptop while we're driving, because that's not safe. We can actually stop, pull over, side of the road, rewind what we've just recorded and view any data that the Safari Armax ECU displays. So that's a really cool feature. Additionally to this, we have data logging systems. So the unit records around about 30 minutes uh, of the previous drive, so your last 30 minutes of your drive is recorded, and that log file can be downloaded and sent to Safari for analysis. So this is an awesome feature if you are heading out on a trip, you're gonna go away for a month or six months, and you wanted to check to make sure your vehicle's operating correctly before you leave on your trip for peace of mind, you can go for a drive, download the, uh, the data log file, send it to Safari, and, and Safari can then give you advice on whether the car's operating correctly, maybe your fuel filter's due for replacement, air filter, etc. So this is good, a good peace of mind system before you head off. If you were remote and you were away and you did think you had a problem, Safari can also remotely access your ECU no matter where you are as long as you've got an internet connection. So hotspot from your phone, etc. Safari technicians can log into your ECU and view that data log file and check and see how your engine is operating and functioning and give you the right advice. You know, these days there's, a, there's lots of differences of opinion uh, out there, um, but to have the manufacturer actually give you the correct advice is an awesome advantage and, and something that's free of charge also. So once you've purchased an Armax ECU, none of this costs you any money. There's no ongoing subscriptions or anything like that that you have to pay for. Alternatively, another really cool feature is if you change the hardware specification of your vehicle, i.e. you add an exhaust or an intercooler into the future, Safari can remotely log in through the same system and actually change the package in your ECU to take advantage of your new, of your new accessory you've had fitted. So some really cool additional features that the Armax ECU offers. And, and once again, another unique feature. So these are all the reasons why you would purchase a Safari Armax ECU system for your application. So in summary today, we've seen EGT or exhaust gas temperature control. We've seen cold start engine protection, torque reduction on gear change, the differences between the multiple maps. We've seen remote access, telemetry, data log files. These are all unique features of the Safari Armax ECU. It's backed up by an industry leading warranty three years unlimited kilometer on the products, five years 100,000 kilometer engine and drivetrain warranty from new. For more information, please visit safari4x4.com.au.